Hello guys, this is Alexandr Rezar and right now I'm gonna share with you the second part of how to work with Mercedes-Benz electronic parts catalog. So without any further ado, let's get into it. We load up the interface, paste on Java, maximize the screen. So previously I've been uh, sharing with you how to search by VIN number, but we can also search by MD mode, SA mode, paint operating fluids, workshop equipment. Now uh, let's go with MD mode, uh, going through the assor assortment class. We can choose cars, cross country vehicles, vans, trucks, etc. Let's go by choosing the car. Okay. We can choose from a large assortment. Basically, this tells uh, engine, automatic, manual, transmission, steering, uh, or we can go search by chassis number. So we can, for example, check the W205 chassis C200 220 diesel 4Matic. And right now we are able to access the C class which started to be brought to the market from 2015. For example, we choose to go with the engine. This engine is an OM654. Checking the cylinder, this is how it looks like. Uh, this vehicle doesn't have a data card, but we can basically see the engine block, some noise encapsulations, very well soundproofed, basically encapsulated in soundproofing. Uh, this engine has the timing chain at the back, I think, most likely it's at the back. Let's see if we can see it. Parts of unit crankshaft. Yep, mo yep, this engine has the uh, timing chain at the back. Differential shaft. This is the balance shaft from left to right. This shows that the engine is very well balanced. Conrods and pistons. Fracture split conrod, I think. Free revisions of the conrods. Anyways, nice enough engine. Fuel injection, fuel injection system. This is a high pressure pump, and most likely this is a CP4. Moving on to fuel lines, injectors. The injectors are think Bosch. You can search them on the internet. There are two revisions. Um, going to the engine management, camshaft and chain drive. Like said, it's on the back side of the engine. The camshafts are being held in this gra cradle, bearing housing, how to, how to call it. The Timing chain is basically distributing a rotation motion from the uh, intake spur gear to some sprockets which are down in the engine. Anyways, moving on. Let's say the 211 or 212 chassis. Actually, let's go even further down the line. Let's go to at 213 E3 350. This is with a 4-pot engine, and I think it's a 2-liter. Again, a lot of soundproofing. This is a petrol engine. This is how the camshaft looks. But if we 
choose to look at the E30, let's look at the E400D formatic. The engine, the engine is the 6 in line, it's the new 656, OM656. This is the 2.9 liter engine. Yep, really nice. This is the successor of the OM642, which was the V6 engine. A lot of soundproofing and sound deadening. Again, the timing chain is on the back side. Not something that I really like due to the fact that it requires in all instances to take off the engine and have it separated from the from the gearbox. The um, actuation of the valves is done through a compensator um, element known as an hydraulic lifter and it has a pivot rocker arm instead of a bucket which follows the cam. Let's look at the shell. The shell looks something like this. I don't know if it can be bought from Mercedes-Benz but Basically, this is the, the codes for the entire body. These are a lot of uh, small caps. You can purchase them, buy them. And, of course, I told you guys that I, we are to look at an S-Class as well. So, let's look at the... S class W222. Let's check the, this one, the yes, S400D formatic. The engine, engine housing, engine. Again, I think it's the 656. Yes, it is. This is the new engine, 6 in line engine. We can also go with a 221 chassis from the S class which is uh, yep this one this is a 3 liter V6 engine this is one of my favorite engines the, the other feature which I like a lot of this engine is that the timing chain is in the front that is a lot of work involved in t changing the timing chain but other than that it's a very good engine good I think this covers the second part of the video. Thank you for watching. Hit the like, share, subscribe button. Hit the bell notification icon so that you're alerted and posted when every time when I uh, upload a video. This is Alexandre Izar. Thank you for watching. Have a nice evening.